This tutorial assumes you've never used Lockdown before. To get started, apply the effect under Vanos, Lockdown, control click and drag over the area where you want to create a mesh, press track all. Here's what the track looks like when finished. Choose a frame where the surface you tracked is mostly flat, then press lockdown. This creates three layers in your composition. The first is your background layer, which has no effects on it. The second is the layer you are working on, which has lockdown on it, and it has a preview checkerboard mesh, which is following along with your background. This gives you a good idea of how well the shot tracked. And this is your stabilized pre-comp, which holds your graphics. If you enter this composition, you can delete the preview checkerboard. And when you play this back, your video is stabilized inside. This is tough to imagine, but what this means is when you put graphics on here, this stabilized video gives you an idea of how they're going to line up. The stabilization is on this layer, which is a non-rendering guide layer. If you want to actually see it, then you can make it not a guide layer, but you probably don't need it if you're just adding graphics. And this bottom layer is just a still frame of the frame where you press lockdown. Once your graphics are set, move back into your main comp. And your graphics are tracked. One of the quick things you can do for quality is turn on mesh subdivision. It's set to zero by default. I'll set it to two. And you can see how that smooths out some hard edges. If we turn render mesh back on, you can see what's happening. This is the default grid. For the most part, this is going to look pretty good. But sometimes if the angles are sharp enough and the mesh is moving too much, you might get some hard edges. Turning on Mesh Subdivision will help smooth this out. Please keep in mind you can't work with Lockdown when your Mesh Subdivision is greater than zero. So if you need to make changes, just set it back to zero, make your changes, and then set it back to whatever you need it to be. Those are the basics. Now let's go over everything in extreme detail. Rather than control click and drag to create points, sometimes it's better to choose points specifically that are going to be easy to track. So for example, if I was tracking this jellyfish shot, I can control click to create points. Specifically on the end of these stripes, which are easy for me to see, I'll press track all. Playing this shot back, some of these points get lost. And the reason is, if we take a look at this point right here, this is actually going to lose visibility. So as I play along here, this is completely hidden by the side of the jellyfish. So naturally, once we move to further in the video, it can't find that point again because it's lost. And instead, it starts following elsewhere. The basis of tracking in Lockdown is using adjustment points, and the way they work is this. When you create an adjustment point, the point must be in that position at that time. So I can click and drag these points back to where they're supposed to be later in the video after they've wandered off. I'll move back to the beginning of the video, and you'll notice on the first frame when I created these points and tracked, there are already adjustment points here. This is because the software knows that you created these points here, they must be at this position on this frame. And your second set of adjustment points are here later in the video. So naturally, they'll do a linear interpolation as we play through this. However, the results might not be that great, moving from adjustment point to adjustment point. The trick is to press track all again. And rather than just doing a linear interpolation, it's going to look at the texture and look at the position on this frame. And while it tracks from A to B, 
It will try to follow this texture better. I'll press track all and it will launch the refinement process. Let's play this back and you'll see the points work their way back to where they're supposed to be, following the motion that they can to find their way back to the next adjustment point. The key to tracking in lockdown when using the track refinement system is to move through your video and whenever you feel like your points are getting lost, just adjust them. Once again press track all and your tracks will be refined. Making a shot like this, where some of your textures actually disappear as the jellyfish folds over, look much more convincing through the refinement that tries to find its way back on later frames. Let's look at some of the other controls. Lasso grid pixel distance is the spacing between the grid points. So if I make this a value of 100, the points will be further apart. If I make it a value of 25, there will be more points that are much closer. In general, you want to use as few points as you can get away with, so it's easier to do manual tracking. The only time you would ever use this many points is on a shot that's going to be so easy to track that it's unlikely for there to be an error. This happens to be one of those shots. To create a mesh with lockdown manually, control click to create points. Then select a point and control or command shift click on Mac to create edges between them. To delete a point, you can alt click it. I'll undo that. You can delete an edge by alt clicking. And to delete multiple edges, you can alt shift, click and drag and create a line which will delete all the edges that it crosses. To delete points, you can alt click and drag around them. Drawing mesh with quads will allow you to use mesh smoothing. You can set it up to three levels of subdivisions. Whenever the subdivisions are greater than zero, you can't work with lockdown. Set it back to zero to work with lockdown again. Quad based meshes smooth very nicely. For example's sake, I'll put a checkerboard grid in here. Like the last example, some of these hard edges can look a little bit rough. Increasing the level of subdivisions will fix this. Let's take a quick look at how to paint with lockdown. First, you track the shot just like any other. Then press lockdown. And inside your stabilized comp, you can delete the preview checkerboard. And take a look at the stabilized footage. Basically, as long as this looks like it's staying mostly pretty still, you'll be able to paint it and the paint will track. Right now this is set to a guide layer, that's by default because you're usually just adding graphics. So right click and make it not a guide layer. Then you can grab your clone stamp brush and double click the layer. So one of the obvious things that we might want to paint out here is the cut on his hand. So we'll scrub through and you can see that's sitting mostly pretty still. And then you can just clone stamp that out. Now when we play through this, because everything is still, the paint sticks. Moving back into our main composition, we'll zoom in and you can see this turned off and on. You can see that the paint sticks without any issues. The one thing you'll notice is this dark outline. 
This is because the border from Lockdown Stabilized Comp is slightly smaller than the mesh in the outer comp. All you have to know is that you have to shrink this border just slightly. You can kind of see that dark outline there. So one easy way to do that is with a simple choker, just shrinking that in a couple pixels to get rid of that edge. It does not have to be precise at all. And you'll notice that when we go back into this comp, that line is gone. Probably the best way to do it though isn't with a simple choker. If you take a look at where your paint is, it's only in this area right here. I would probably recommend making a solid and then just masking around this area well within this border away from that edge and setting this to stencil alpha. Moving back into the main comp you can see that this paintwork is only applied within there and I'll just scrub through that and that is applied over the background. The logic for this painting process can be applied to the entire shot to remove the tattoo and some more of his cuts. Thanks for watching. For more info, check out aescripts.com/lockdown.